hey y'all what's up so this is a lovely wednesday today is april 13th and god said today you will see his mighty hand move okay today you will see god's mighty hand move all right so god i don't know if you guys have noticed my wording over the last few prophetic words but i keep talking about god's mighty right hand or if you guys are a part of the daily prophetic devotionals I keep talking about mighty right hand. So not the devotional today, because the devotional, ironically, I posted today, actually says today God will turn your situation around. But also the one from yesterday, um, it was speaking about how acts of faith meets God's, no, acts of faith meets God's provision. Yes, and it was speaking specifically about Moses and the moment in which he had his staff. Y'all are going to be so extremely blessed by this prophetic word today so let me just say a quick prayer y'all dear lord my heavenly father guard my tongue okay father speak through me allow this prophetic word to come together the pieces that you have given me father right now you are preparing to make them whole before your people God, we thank you for assuming the victory for us in advance. God, we felt that joy in our spirit. We knew it was for a reason, God. So God, we just thank you for telling us that we just need to get moving. There is no need to worry. There is no need to fear. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say this prayer and I seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. All right. So first, I'm going to, we're going to go back now. Um, you guys know God having a 40-day uh, wilderness with him, whatever you want to call it. Spending time with the Lord. And when I came back, he had me release a prophetic word for the month of April. And that prophetic word, one of the words for the month of April was recompense, okay? Recompense is just a fancy way of saying um, a repayment, okay? So the things that were stolen from you, a repayment. If you guys recall in that video, I said this scripture. Let me go actually find it. I was just going to go off the top of my head, but let's find it. So Joel 2.25, if I remember correctly, it says, I'm reading New Living Translation, but the Lord says, I will give you back what you lost to the swarming locust, the hopping locust, the stripping locust, and the cutting locust. It was I who sent this great destroying army against you. Wow, that's more revelation. Okay, y'all, we're just going to go with it. So um, this is where it says like God will restore the years of the harvest that was taken away from you by the palm worm, the canker worm, things like that, right? And God said that um, it was I who sent this destroying army against you. Who sent the destroying army against the Israelites as they tried to exit out of Egypt? Who hardened the heart of Pharaoh so that that army could come after his people? Oh, God. Yes. Okay, y'all, I'm continuing on. So... Let me get to the point of this prophetic word. <laughs> so God said that we have entered a place of recompense. Um, he said the word Beth Gamel. So Beth Gamel, um, Moabites, uh, these people that did not want to surrender their will to God, kind of like, kind of very similar to the Egyptians, right? They had a mind of their own, right? So um, what God was saying here is that we have entered a place of recompense. And um, the next thing the Lord told me was they have drowned. And I'm like, okay, God, who's drowned? Are you saying I'm drowning because I feel like I am? And God's like, no, they. And I said, God, well, who are they? They are the Egyptians, okay? So, obviously, the they can be people. This mighty army can be people. But what God is particularly referencing is those forces that were sent to take away your harvest all those years that were sent to put you into this place of lack and in this place of needing all right so um and also god said the forces that kept you from entering your inheritance right because them being in egypt it was keeping them from moving forward to where god needed them to go next right which was the promised land so um as i mentioned the other day your blessings are locating you so although you weren't so the thing is is like the blessings were coming to your house but in the spirit you weren't even home there were hindrances spiritually keeping you from going forces keeping you from getting there but god says today you will see his mighty hand move so what does that mean let's analyze the story of um the uh, egyptians and the israelites okay so go with me to exodus 14 okay
I got real serious real quick. But Exodus 14, all right. So, um, I'm going to read uh, 13. It says, but Moses told the people, don't be afraid. Just stand still and watch the Lord rescue you today. The Egyptians you see today will never be seen again. Back to the prophetic word back in uh, last month when God had me release it. For April, what did I say? I said that God said that he is causing the enemy to flee for a season from his people so that they can build. Remember, I said in that video, the resources that the Lord is providing to you, the things that were uh, taken for so long and it's kind of like stored up, all of that mail, all those things, it's whoosh, it's coming to you like a flood. You get what I'm saying? And the thing is, is that it's coming to you in this way so that you can build for the kingdom. It is not for yourself. It is not for you to sit here and say, oh, you know, I'm going to build myself up. Then I'm going to help the kingdom of God. No, what God has given you is to help the kingdom of God, is to help further his purpose on this earth, right? So the thing is, is that with the Egyptians, right? God said the Egyptians you see today will never be seen again. We know this part. The Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. All right. So pretty much what am I saying here? Um. What I'm saying is, is that today we have entered the land of recompense. Today you will see hindrances, the hindrances has already been removed. Let me be very clear. You will see that repayment. You will see God return back to you what it is that was stolen from you, the years that was stolen from you. You will see it today. I prophetically decree and declare that over your life that you will see it today. Another thing that the Lord pointed out to me, God said, I led you to scripture 13. I said, okay. And God said, what is today? I'm like, oh, the 13th. Okay. And last week, seven days ago, the Lord was like, seven days from now, you going to see. I'm like, seven days from now. I said, Lord, come on now. Come on. I know you're speaking increments of seven, but seven days from then was the 13th. Okay? And I'm like, okay, God, and the last time that the Lord did this, y'all know what he did. He pushed me to leave Milwaukee to come to Houston. Within that seven-day period, he well, not in within. Within that seven-day period, y'all, I, I was stressed out. But on that seventh day, the Lord spoke very clearly at telling me, it's now your time to go. It's now your time to exit. Because my enemies was about to swarm over me. And what does that sound very similar to? It sounds very similar to what the Egyptians were doing to the Israelites in this time. So do you guys kind of notice a mirroring here? So with Joe, it was saying, I sent this army against you. And um, the Egyptians, God sent the Egyptians towards the people of, the, of Israel. He wanted to make it look like the, his people were going to drown, but he only did it so that he could show his mighty right hand so that he could show what it was that he was doing. And if I remember correctly, yes. Okay. So yes, so that he could show exactly what it was that he was doing, his mighty hand, his glorious works to go ahead of his people. So right now it seems that you're drowning. But you don't even realize you're walking across on dry land. What's actually drowning is that situation. God's like no longer will you have to worry about uh, the Satan attacking your finances in this area. No longer will you have to worry about Satan attacking your health in this area. You're going to see God's mighty hand move today. And when I say mighty hand, I mean mighty right hand move today. Okay. And I am believing in this prophetic word, you guys. So I am going to seal it and obviously take it to the lord in prayer but this is confirmation for many people okay as it was confirmation for me again what did i say in this prophetic word you have entered the land of recompense okay god allowed the enemy to come after you these forces right but what god is saying today is that the forces that you see the egyptians that you see you will no longer see them anymore as of today you will see god's right hand obliterate the enemy you will see god's right hand obliterate those forces you will see your recompense you will see your reward in the mighty name of jesus god rain down father rain down father rain down okay rain down because what did the lord say in that prophetic word in april he said the three r's will reign over the land recompense restoration and uh recompense restoration and repentance yeah those are the three r's so god is reigning in this season not only is he pouring down the rain but he's pouring down the rain so that he can reign oh yes 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 lord see now i see why people used to do, 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 run around the church jumping 
but um i'm gonna just go ahead and say a very quick prayer just to seal this prophetic word over our lives because god i believe you i believe you i believe you Dear Lord, my Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, I thank you for allowing us, Father, to be able to commune today, God, to be able to commune on such a platform. God, I pray that this prophetic word, that it comes to pass, Lord God, according to your will, according to what your word says today, Father. God, I pray that the Egyptians, Father, that are coming after us, those situations that make it seem like we're sinking, Father, that is actually going to sink those situations, that those forces, Father, that have held us back from receiving that milk from receiving those blessings God that those blessings come in like a flood towards us God but they shall not overtake us God I thank you so much God for the blessings I thank you so much for the love that you have given us if anything father let me correct that the blood the uh, blessings that you have coming towards us father it will overtake us, but overtake us in joy. It will not overwhelm us, God. If anything, it'll overwhelm us in joy. God, I just thank you for uh, honoring your people and in place of their shame, God, giving them double. God, you have been speaking so much this last week, God, and I'm just so grateful, Lord, to be used as a vessel. God, I pray that those who are struggling, believing in faith right now, I pray that you increase their faith, not in the thing, Father, but their faith in you. Not the miracle, God, but the miracle giver. God, we thank you so much for your love and for your mercy. We thank you for going ahead of us. And as you said the other day, you cleared the path, Father. You cleared the path. We are on dry land, Father. It's the enemy. It's those hindrances, Father. It's those forces that are being overtaken by water. God, I thank you so much. I love you. I worship you and I adore you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say this prayer and I seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. All right, you guys have a blessed day. Today. Man, I'll cry off the camera. I'll talk to y'all later.